people give out calling cards, I give out Twizzlers. Even even the cops, they'll be on duty, so when I go by, I fire a couple out the window. Hey, if yeah. somebody pulls up alongside me, I just fire dude in their car, and I just fire right in there, get hit in the head with it. I taught at Lyman High School for 35 years. I went from 1960 to 1995. I left Lyman Hall at that time. I started driving school approximately 1958. I needed one more course. I had four courses. I needed five. So I went into the auditorium. I see these cars moving over and crashing. I said, what the heck is this? The guy said, this is driving. I said, well, I know how to drive. You don't sit down. So there was, there was a driver's ed course. And just by chance, I took it. And then I took another one and then so forth. And I said, I'll open up a driving school. Well, the first month, that phone didn't ring out big once, you know. So uh, then they just, uh, gradually started bringing it into business. I also, along the way, I had three ice cream trucks, hot dog wagon. I sold vacuum cleaners. I put up TV antennas, and the radio, and I fixed TV. I sold life insurance. I sold some real estate. That was just in, in the sideline. And when I had some spare time, just to fill in the gaps. I also put 15 years on the police force locally. I was working a regular 40-hour shift. I used to work 11 o'clock at night till 7 o'clock in the morning. Get out, go home, take a shower, go to Lyman Hall from 7.30 to 2. Get out of Lyman Hall, jump in the car, go driving with the kids. My first night on duty. I was sitting, as a matter of fact, this little police booth at the time. I'm sitting there just like I am now. And I'm watching the cars going from North Haven to Meriden. And around 9-ish, the two guys go by and they want to shoot a cop, which happened to me, be, be me. So as they went by, they fired three shots at me in the booth. Strictly by sheer luck or fate or whatever, I bent over to tie my shoelace and the three bullets went into the booth and I didn't get killed. Okay? I picked up the telephone. We didn't have a walkie-talkie. I said, a black four-door car went towards Valentis. Get it. So they caught him. Now, at the time they caught them, they did not know anything about the killings or robbery or anything. They got him and then uh, one of the survivors said the guy that came in to rob us uh, whatever, had a size 14 shoe. Well, they checked it. That's a pretty good size foot. So they checked the guys, sure enough, it was 14. They knew they had the guys that had done it. One week later, it's now called Old Dublin. So I go in and uh, I said, what's going on? He said, the guy just robbed the place. He went out the back door. So I swing open the back door. The guy from about me to you with a gun pointed right at me. I said, something's wrong with this picture. I got a nice stick and he's got a gun. So he pulls the trigger, I hear the click. I don't feel it. So I hit him in the shoulder. He dropped the gun, I handcuffed him five bullets in there. There was one empty chamber. That was the one that he clicked. In other words, if he had six bullets, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. You'd have to... I, I almost got bumped off three times. This one was a nice quiet town. Nothing ever happens here, you know? John's got a few words. Probably not a man more deserving of an opportunity to speak. I was hoping they gave me a lifetime membership. <laughs> <laughs> no, no such luck. Did anyone ever see a book on facts? Is this a thing speaking book? <laughs> We're going to do in five minutes is all hold hands and try to get in touch with the living. <laughs> I hope you enjoy a few of these facts that I... Somebody gave me the fact book. It's not meant to be humorous, but they're facts. All right, just hang in there for a second. A crocodile can be bitten half by a hippo. Now, you never knew that before, did you? <laughs> I told you they were facts. The first detective agency was started by a criminal. At any given time, 4.5 million people are drunk. <laughs> the Sahara Desert imports sand. And my question is, why? <laughs> they said that there are no two uh, pieces of sand that, that are alike. I want to see the guy who checked out each one of them. He had to have a hell of a lot of free time if he went through everything. <laughs> There's a lot of sand on that desert, not to mention that camel dude that's around the area too, you know? <laughs> These are all facts, you can go check them. A couple other ones, the guy has a, guy has a window business, he calls it a pain in the glass, okay? <laughs> Another group does plastic surgery, and in their windows they say, let us help you pick your nose, okay? <laughs> I'm not making this stuff up, okay? <laughs> Snickers, do you know where that name came from? was named after a horse that belonged to the Mars Company. Okay, you're going to be a lot smarter when you leave here tonight, I'll tell you. Um, if two rabbits start mating together, after three years you will have a total of 33 million rabbits. A lot of rabbits in there, okay?
1985, the only two cars in the state of Ohio crashed into each other. How did that happen? I don't know. On his 45th birthday, Adolf Hitler received 45,000 birthday cards. An elephant can smell water 12 miles away. That's like some people can smell liquor 12 miles away, you know? Americans eat 10 billion donuts per year. There are only two mentions of sneezing in the Bible. You didn't know that, did you? Okay. Earthworms have five hearts. Huh? Okay. Well, when do you think the most phone calls are made? I'm with Holiday. You are correct, okay? Uh, you'll get some twizzlers later on. I just thought I'd share a few of those with you. And there's a couple of little things here. Um, when I was born, my mother told me that I was so ugly that they slapped everybody in the room. You know what I mean? so, when I was two years old, they took me to the zoo, and the zookeeper said, thank you for bringing them back, all right? She tried to enter me in an ugly contest, child contest, and no professional law, please. Okay. At four years old, they tied a pork chop on around my neck to make sure that the dog got to play with me every so often. At five, I went to school, and I had to share my locker with a mop. Okay. First day I was in school, I was looking on the side of the building, this is the guy that I threw, I got to right in the head with a brick. You know, I came in with a big thing on my head. When I was about nine years old, my mother sent me to the store while I was gone, she moved. So, uh, you know, well, I found my way home eventually. About 12 years old, I sent my picture into the Lonely Hearts Club, they sent it back. They were not that lonely. I couldn't go off right. Every time, you know, something would always come up along the way there. So, uh, that was the way it went. Not only, not only Wallingford is a quiet town, 